Hi there, my name's John Scott and I'm an adventure and travel filmmaker and welcome to the behind the scenes of my latest film project. Uh, it's called Tonic of the Sea and if you haven't done already, uh, please check out the full film which is linked in the description. One of the reasons that I'd wanted to do it is, is I'd never actually filmed anything underwater before or in water and so I wanted a new challenge in terms of filmmaking but at the same time I also wanted to find a really good and special story to tell something that people could relate to and hopefully with uh, the fantastic people I work with on this film uh, we've managed to do this. Now I thought what might be interesting is to talk about the actual sort of technical side of the filmmaking as well in how I went about actually getting some of the shots that I did uh, filming in the water filming underwater, filming in very challenging conditions. Now, I did some early testing with, with GoPros and, and GoPros are amazing bits of kit, but I, I was really wanting to have a control over much more than what a GoPro would allow me to do. And so the decision I went with was to use the Panasonic GH5 on this project. I thought it would give me the right balance between a really good image, but also being able to hopefully be used underwater in the right type of uh, underwater housing and protection. So I reached out to uh, the guys at WEX who were really helpful and managed to source me a Ewa Marine underwater bag and I'd had a look at these before but I'd never actually used one and what they allow you to do is put the camera in what was essentially a flexible plastic bag but it's made to very high standards and a, a sort of trick that I was told by some diving friends was to use a grey t-shirt uh, because this obviously shows any watermarks very easily and I submerged it in my bath, had a play around, moved it around, tried to simulate some of the sort of movements that it would be going through when I was filming actually in the sea. Much to my delight when I, I took the t-shirt out it was bone dry. As long as I was prepared and I set my camera up before I went in the water I was really pleased at the, the images that I was getting. Um, what I found with the, the actual housing is that it didn't fog up. They give you little bags similar to like what you get in new shoes and, and new camera equipment that absorb any water moisture. It's a little hard to change focus because of the plastic that the housing is made from. Uh, it's not impossible, but you can't do it quickly. When you're in the water, I really didn't appreciate how much stuff is going on and you're concentrating on swimming, staying afloat, watching the waves trying to frame your shot it really is a, a big challenge and and i didn't appreciate that one until i'd actually got involved with this project and my my appreciation of underwater and in water cinematography now has, has jumped to a whole new level so some of the other challenges uh with the shoot were fighting the elements uh it was thoroughly cold and i was fortunate enough to be in a wetsuit but the the guys that I was working with, uh, who arguably are, are used to swimming in the sea every day and they do it in the middle of winter, but they're still human and they were still getting cold. So there was a real uh, responsibility on my part to make sure that they weren't suffering, that they weren't getting too cold, that um, we were only staying in for short periods of time, coming out, warming up, making sure everything was okay. So overall, this was a fantastic project to work on. I had some great people, both Katie and Mike, who uh, appear in the film, were absolutely fantastic, really good subjects to work with, uh, really easy going. We had a, a great dynamic and relationship, which is always really important. The, the director-talent relationship can often make or break a film, and the fact that they were both so easy going, so welcoming, made my job a lot easier. Uh, they took direction uh, and these guys aren't professional actors at all i don't think they'd really done anything on camera up until this point but uh, they were very natural and uh, just very easy to get along with and that from my point of view makes my job a lot easier and that generally translates to uh, a better result on the screen so i also had a really good support team uh, toby russell and hannah backland who were both on the shoot with me uh, who were really helpful in uh, just supporting me and enabling me to uh, be in the places that I wanted to be and get the shots that I wanted to get and obviously shot some of this behind the scenes footage as well. So hopefully that's been interesting. If you've got any questions or want any further information, please drop a question below and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you haven't seen the full film, do check it out. It's linked in the description and thanks very much for watching.